Hello and welcome to 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bal Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued today a decree approving the agreement of establishing the Bahraini Russian Government Committee for Commercial Trade, Economic, Scientific and Technological Cooperation that was signed in Moscow on September the 6, 2016. His Majesty also issued another decree regarding appointing the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, President of the Committee, requesting the Minister to appoint the members of the national team representing the government of Bahrain in the committee. The Royal Court announced that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will be at the forefront of the reception of Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his accompanying delegation arriving at the Kingdom of Bahrain tomorrow. The Turkish President will be on an official visit following an invitation from His Majesty the King. The two sides shall review the historic bilateral ties and means of enhancing these relations and developing them at all levels, in addition to discussing the latest regional and international issues as well as mutual interest affairs. The Royal Court would like to take this opportunity to welcome Mr. Erdogan and his delegation, wishing them a pleasant stay in Bahrain. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the Chief Minister of Kerala, Bin Rai Vijayan, currently on an official visit to the kingdom. His Majesty asserted the strength of the outstanding historical ties between the two countries, which are based on bilateral respect and joint cooperation and coordination at all levels. He went on to discuss ways of expanding the framework of collaboration in the economic, investment, trade and tourism areas that will serve the interests of the two nations. His Majesty continued to note the historical trade relations between Bahrain and India due to their strategic locations as gateways to global trade, citing that a trade exchange between the two countries began since the beginning of the last century and has flourished as a result of mutual keenness to further develop this close cooperation. In this regard, His Majesty the King recalled his successful visit to the Republic of India in 2014 that culminated in the signing of a number of memorandums of understanding that strengthen partnerships between both countries in various fields. His Majesty the King also praised the leading role of India as one of the most influential on the Asian and global economies that led to achieving many successes on all economic, commercial and industrial levels. He expressed his thanks and appreciation to the long and ongoing contribution of the Indian community to the progress march witnessed by the Kingdom that serves national economy Economy, wishing India and its people further prosperity and development. For his part, Mr. Vijayan expressed his deep appreciation to His Majesty the King's role in elevating the Bahraini-Indian relations and for the care the Indian community receives, hailing the openness of policy pursued by Bahrain for decades that added to the advancement of the kingdom and its citizens, wishing these relations continued growth and improvements. On the sidelines of the World Arabian Horse Organization conference event hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the conference's organizing committee hosted a dinner banquet in honor of the delegation's representatives from 41 countries. The President of Bahrain's Royal Equestrian Endurance Race Federation and Deputy President of the organizing committee of the Wahoo Conference, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, welcomed the delegations, wishing them a pleasant stay in the kingdom. He hailed the efforts exerted by the organization's General Assembly and affirmed the Kingdom's keenness on implementing the wise leadership's vision to successfully host the event. The High Organizing Committee made sure to host the event in Rafah Fort to take advantage of the large number of participating countries to promote traditional places in Bahrain. The participants expressed thanks for the Bahraini hospitality, appreciating the role of the Chairman of the High Organizing Committee, son of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa and his directives that aided the success of the conference. 
The General Assembly of the World Arabian Horse Organization, WAHU, held a meeting in which they discussed a number of important topics on its agenda and the participating delegations presented official reports and accomplishments regarding purebred Arabian horses during the years 2015 and 2016. The President of the Royal Jordanian Equestrian Federation and member of the Executive Committee of the World Arab Horse Organization, WAHU, Princess Alia bint Al Hussein, hailed Bahrain's hosting of the conference expressing appreciation for the royal patronage and interest in the conference of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the Higher Organizing Committee of the conference and son of His Royal Highness Crown Prince Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa. Princess Alia affirmed the importance of arranging regular meetings for the organization that enhance the support of purebred Arabian horses around the world. A member of the Executive Committee, David Angle, presented the challenges that the organization faces expressing hope that it would improve in the following years. The Wahoo Bahrain 2017 conference concluded its third day, it being a vital meeting that ensures the well-being of Arabian horse communities and registries worldwide. We have these conferences once every two years somewhere around the world which gives us the opportunity to deal with pedigrees and other important things for the breeding of Arabian horses and it also gives our members a chance to see horses in different parts of the world and the Bahraini horses are, are the traditional Arab horses they are the real originals so we are delighted to be here to see them. The conference was both educational and fun and was also a chance for the Waho members to meet fascinating people from all over the world as well as experience the rich culture of Bahrain and see its remarkable purebred Arabian horses. It's our first time in Bahrain, uh, hopefully not the last. Uh, the weather is great, everything is really, really good, the organization, the food, the people, everyone is really, really nice. Uh, it's nice to see uh, such a beautiful country where people are so warm. And uh, Vaho is really one big family, very great atmosphere and everything is, has been great. I own an Arabian horse magazine so I have an interest in events such as this. But I'm also a life member of Waho. Um, I think it's very important that the younger generations, not I'm that young, get involved and keep supporting all the work that's been done before because the Arabian horse has such a big, rich history and we need to preserve that. To, the opportunity to come to Bahrain was one I couldn't actually resist. Um, I haven't been on a Waho conference yet. This is my first one because of timing. And Bahrain is an amazing country. I'm actually quite taken aback how much history there is here. For the second time and once again facilitated an exceptional event. The conference will go on until the 15th of February. The Wahoo Bahrain 2017 conference continues its third day, bringing together a great number of expertise and showcasing the finest of Bahrain's Arabian horse. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. Before he concluded his official visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain this evening, the Chief Minister of Kerala, His Excellency Pinarayi Vijayan, was the guest of honour at the Bahrain Kerala Business Investment Forum earlier today, hosted by Ludo Group Chairman and Managing Director Yusuf Ali in concert, in concert with the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry in the presence of BCCI Board Members, Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism Zaid Al Zayani, Bahrain Economic Development Board CEO Khalid Al Ramehi, Indian Ambassador to Bahrain, Alok Kumar Sinha, and other senior officials and business leaders from Bahrain and India. Daniel Deporto reports. The Chief Minister of Kerala, His Excellency Pinarai Vijayan, conducted his official visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain at the invitation of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, following his fruitful state visit to the South Indian state in 2013. Enhancing bilateral trade and investment was a priority of the trip, as exemplified by the Bahrain Kerala Investment Forum that took place today, which attracted leading figures representing Bahrain and India from the public and private sectors. Kerala play an important part in Bahrain. Uh, they form 20% of the population. They contribute the, to the business. They contribute big time in the workforce. And uh, they are very important to us. We look forward uh, to found and create new businesses with Kerala. Kerala is famous with, uh, I mean, with the agriculture, 
fruit, vegetable, and all agriculture uh, pr uh, product, I would say. So we look forward to, to, to do a lot. We're looking forward to go to Kerala, and we're looking forward to the Keralas to come to Bahrain and invest, as there are many of them here in Bahrain, but we would like to see more of them. The, 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 I mean, the beautiful visit of the Honorable Minister, Chief Minister, I mean... It will, I mean, pave the way green for both Bahraini and uh, Kerala's people to produce more business and to have more better relations. In, from Kerala people, they can come ha and have a joint venture in Bahrain in different ways because Bahrain is a beautiful country, is a very you know, safe country, secured country, and investor-friendly, easy to do business. So people can also see how they can come and have a joint venture. And also the Bahrainis, those who are investing outside, they can look about Kerala and they can also have joint ventures in Kerala also. So this is all mutual benefit. The forum consisted of a number of speeches and an expert panel session examining both markets in detail and highlighting ways to leverage opportunities in a mutually beneficial way. As both nations are in a growth and development phase, they are seeking to learn from each other as well as conduct business together, in line with a close historic relationship shared. Areas of mutual economic interest include agriculture and ICT development, as well as human capital development and ways of facilitating trade and investment through legislation and trade agreements. We all know India how shifted in the last couple of decades from being one of the third countries, now they are one of the world leaders. And they did this by services. They moved from industry and shifted to services. They are using human beings, educated, highly educated people. Their universities are quite good. They are very good, as a matter of fact. And they prepared people. So what we can do in Bahrain, what could be the outcome of this? India is the biggest source of FDI uh, that we've noticed, at least in the EDB, in the last year. So I think that as a country, we see huge potential for us to do much more inward investment into Bahrain from India. And I think this is the opportunity to build on the relationship that we have with, uh, with India and Kerala specifically. And I hope that we can uh, you know, increase the inward investment and perhaps look at also outward investment into Kerala from Bahrain. We should, as our Crown Prince vision 2030, so IT should become prominent in this island, like uh, Bahrain should become an IT hub. So this is what we are planning. And we all know for women, it has been given lots of support in Bahrain. And, uh, you know, 27 percentage of the board members are women. So we feel very proud and happy for all the support what's given by the Bahrain government. While the official state visit might conclude this evening, the catalytic effect it will have on Bahraini-Indian relations will be long-lived, especially in economic terms. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Danielle Deporto.